What direction do you push that router? Can you pass this test? Hola Woodworkers, Paul Carlson here, Small Workshop Guy. Working on softening the edges on my saw stallion. In doing that, I'm going to use a trim router, and I've got a roundover bit in it with a uh, roller on it, or a bearing, to follow along. That will just give me a nice little uh, soft softening of the edges. I thought this would be a good opportunity to do a little quiz for you, and you can test your skills. Now in doing this quiz, which is, which direction do you push the router? Uh, there is no grain. This is plywood, so you, you can take that out of the equation. I know some of you know too much, and if I said which direction would you push it, you'd have to ask me 10 questions first. Well, it's plywood, there's no grain. I just want to know the basic direction that you would normally want to push a router. Get a piece of paper, get a pencil, and then write one through seven, and then beside each one of those, put down an A or a B. So I'll give you a minute to go get your pencil and paper. Hopefully if you're in a workshop or you're near your computer, you've got that. So anyway, here's uh, number one. I'm going to soften this bottom edge here. So my router bit is going to be going clockwise. Do I go A, this direction, right to left on this particular item? Or I, do I go B, left to right, on that edge with my router in this orientation? Number two is this top rail here. So do I go A, right to left? Or do I go B, left to right, on this top rail? Here's my spin, and I'm dropping the router bit down on there. So that's number two. I think number three is up here. I'm doing the bottom of, of this top rail. And so here's a picture of the way the router blade is spinning. Now, do I go A, right to left, or do I go B, left to right? Put that down on your paper. Number four. Number four is down here on this leg. So if I was going to take this router here and it's spinning this direction, do I go A, right to left over the edge of that leg, or do I go B, left to right? Number five, over here on this outside edge, my router placed like this. It's spinning this way. Do I go A, let's see, I think my A choice in this case is up. Do I go A, up, over here on number five, or do I go B, down? Got your answer? Number uh, six. This opposite leg on the outside here, router spinning this way. Do I go A, up, or do I go B, down? <coughs> And then finally, on this very top rail, spinning this way. So this is number seven, I believe. Do I go A, right to left, or do I go B, left to right? All right, I'm going to put up a graphic now that's going to show all of those, and you can finish uh, your answers. You can, of course, pause the video on that graphic and take your time and then start up the video again. Uh, if you get any value out of my videos, I'd appreciate you having doing a like and a comment and a subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And uh, we'll try to offer more basic woodworking tips and techniques and uh, one last thing, the little Patreon link is available for you in my description. You can still make the top 10. You can still be one of my first 10, well, depending on when you watch this. 
maybe if you watched it in 2023, I've, I've got my 10 or 11 already. So anyway, Patreon link would be appreciated. Let's get to the answers. I'm going to link you to two things, PDF that you could just hit uh, that will give you the answers and give you something you could take to the workshop for future reference if you don't already have it completely understood. And then the second thing I'm going to give you is a link to a Stumpy Nubs beautiful video about which way do you push the router and then he also handles when do you do climb cutting and how do you handle grain so very very good uh, router 101 for number one here we're spinning this way always think about well with the way that it's spinning when that engages in that wood if i held it lightly which way would it like to go well that chunk is going to hit that wood the edge of that router bit is going to hit that wood spinning that way, and that's going to want to drive it this way. You always want to start over here. Sometimes you do a little edge finagling, but you start over here and you go the opposite of the way the router would go, unless you're purposely doing a climb cut because of grain, and that's a whole different issue. Number two, the top of this rail here, I'm spinning this way, but I this time this one went up and engaged. This one's going to go down. So when this one engages, it's going to want to go this way. And so I want to go this way from right to left. So this was B, left to right. This was A, right to left. <clears throat> Number three, I believe, was up here when this blade's spinning this way and it engages, just think about it. Where would it want to go? It would want to go this way. And so you want to go the other way. So you want to do B, which is go left to right. So actually what you do is go left to right here and then what you do inside of a rectangle and you're reaching over and you got your bit on there, you're going to go clockwise all the way around this. Number four is this leg. Well, when I engage that router bit there, it's going to be spinning to the right. When, when the bit engages that wood and it's spinning to the right clockwise here, it's going to want to go this way. So the answer is I push against it and I go, in this case, A, uh, right to left. Number five is over here. When I put that router on there, it's going this way. It's going to hit that wood, and it's want to, it will want to go up. So I want to go the opposite way, and I want to go B. Well, I gave you a choice of A is up and B is down, so I want to go B for number five. Number six, which is over here, that router bit is going to want to go this way. So think of it when it hits that wood, what's it going to do? It's going to drive itself down. And then finally, on the very top here, when I engage, spinning this way, it would want to hit that wood and travel this way. So I want to go against it and go B right to left. So again, look for the link to uh, the answers and a little grid you could print out for the future and look at the Stumpy Nubs uh, link. He has a wonderful video on the topic. <laughs> Small workshop guy, hoping you'll be safe in your workshop. We'll see you next video.